Okay, Spatula coming at you with more Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, according to my map here, I've got Evelyn Miller. And I was on the way here, and there's a bunch of corpses. And I'm assuming Skinner Brothers around. I did not want to have that happen. Um, So we'll see what happens here. But in this episode, uh, there are four missions left in the game, and I would like to do three of them. And before I do the final mission, I would like to go around and do some of the extra... Well, there's a lot to do. So I want to do that before... The final mission, we've got uh, Taxidermist over here. I want to do that after I get the furnishings for the house. Uh, I've got Deborah McGinnis up here. I can do any time. Uh, we've got Hamish. We can do that any time. Uh, I want to run up here and see Charlotte. I'm pretty sure that interaction will happen. And... Uh, it's Saturday morning. I've got my coffee. And I'm ready to go. So I know there's more interactions here with Evelyn Miller, so we're going to start with that. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit notifications. Um, we're going to be wrapping this up before too long. So let's see what Evelyn has to say. I've got my sombrero from cleaning out Fort Mercer. Mr. Miller! Mr. Miller, you about? Hello, sir. I'm working, I'm afraid. Okay. Okay? I'm desperately trying to finish my book. It's absolute tripe, you know, but it's all I've got left. Well, I've... I'm not eating, drinking liquor, or leaving this cabin until this draft is complete. Okay. I feel amazing! <laughs> Aside from the doubt and self-loathing, but, but I've seen a great beauty, John. Okay, you take care of yourself. Get yourself something to eat. I can't fight my own nature. None of us can. Sounds familiar, right? <clears throat> so, uh... Dutch was listening to a crazy person. Okay, what do we want to... Let's leave some canned stuff. Uh... Wait, is that it? I'm going to leave more than that. I brought you some food, Mr. Miller. Yes, uh, yes, fetch it presently. Okay. I guess that's it. Okay. And let's talk to Uncle. <clears throat> Get this party started. Just one time I hope to find you working. <laughs> Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? Nope. No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. 
barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Uh-oh. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that. There's bad. Charles. Is he fixing the fence or watching the, the sunrise? Water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna <coughs> rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it, because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. True. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. We will have. Hope this guy likes sombreros. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. Oh, we're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut right, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> That one. Maybe that one. Yeah, that one. An excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Awkward. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer at I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you True. just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a love fool potions. Of yourself. Well, I, John, hey. Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Fact. Sadie, I, you got any work? Kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My love potions climbing. for old. You up for a fight? Is it Maids? legal? Well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right then. Come on. Love that sombrero. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. Love potions for good old maids. We can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. It's a show. Okay. All right. The painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's got to be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're mm -hmm. going to get to him first. <clears throat> Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. 
And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. Mm-hmm. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there yep. to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, yep. I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. True. I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, <clears throat> I mean to be ready. That mm -hmm. is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should That's right. See it. It's good country, <clears throat> see, despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, well. that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get it. <laughs> Cortez! We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. Ramon Cortez, we've come for you. There he is. Don't bite it. Just drift away. Hey. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Hey, my Let's hat. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Can I get? There you go. That hurt. You want more? Good. Gold. My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. That isn't any bone. good. Oh, shut up. We'll cross up here. Come on. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Hundred dollars. Mr. Sheriff? Chunk Mr. Change. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez. <laughs> sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been That's a right. real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. 
Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is so did we. like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Here they come. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. Not Sheriff Gray, Sheriff back. Thomas. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. <clears throat> One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. Why are we... Okay. Yep. Look out. And there goes the jail. It? Come on! <clears throat> jail! The jail! They blew my jail apart! Okay, lured He's us gone. out. He's gone! Uh, well, we brought him in. True. Now, pass what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Yes. Why do we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. John Marston. Mount up. He goes <clears throat> now. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start. Dewberry Creek. There. Sure. You've had some bad luck. Bounty's being stole off of you. That's right. We're about to have some bad luck. We get punched in the face. Bring it. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez, we're coming. Oh, back. we will. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take. It. $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. <coughs> how we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, dog, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation True. for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. 
If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Why can't we take the 2,000 and then turn him in anyway? He is a criminal. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Oh, Stay yes. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. <clears throat> yeah. How about on top of the old mill? Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Oh. What guns is it going to give me here? <sighs> no, we want... Yes. Let's go up. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. You better hope so. Okay, there's Sadie. Hey! Damn it, Sadie! Oh. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, there he is. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, we need this. Uh oh. Nope, nope. That ain't working. That ain't working either. Okay, headshot. He loads. Die already. Okay, that's her.
moving. Long time right. Ago. <clears throat> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down now! Don't think I'd use my weapon like that. Are you kidding me? There you go. We might just be. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that's that then. Help me that was easy. This fool on the horse. Anyway, you were saying. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay nah. well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Get him on a horse. We can get out of here before the buzzards show up. Okay, let's go. Trying. Yeah, it's me again. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? <laughs> You're a dead woman. False. You're a dead man. False. The De Lobos will not forgive this. False. Uh, wherever you hide, we will find you, and we will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Right. You want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna right. kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita, hang. Yep. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Right. Well, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, not gold. anymore. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will, cause you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, Mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken money? it. What money? Are <clears throat> you? I promise you that we're gonna go for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me, because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are, back again. Looks like. Ramon. Mistake, real big mistake. 
I'll see you again. False. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <clears throat> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. Right. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. False. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. Can you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Back to Beecher's Hope. There's the barn. Silver. Surprising, really. 30 seconds. Yeah, I wasn't trying for headshots at all. Hip fire kills. No health items. All right. Now we have uncle again how was your holiday i was making money and to think you call me lazy you've done a great job well that crew did help a house a barn look at this place <laughs> i can't believe it that's thank right you. thank you both this calls for a drink Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we've brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore. On sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about it, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's brighten out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get and out here. And here we go. Uncle's gone! <clears throat> He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! Still drunk. <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinner's. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? No. Right. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. All right. Let's go. I tracked him to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about him. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do, except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. 
Now, what weapons do we want to use? Okay, we want the bow. And probably that. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jeez. No lumbago. You mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp. But it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already. With only hurt to come. We get him and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Yep. Leave the horses in the trees there. Stay. To the trees. Come on. There they are. Where are you going, Charles? Up there, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. Damn it! They're down. Move. Charles, you're supposed to take the other one. They were Get waiting my arrow for us. back. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Stay together. I am coming. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Hold I think we it. should kill him. Oh, there's three. Easy. Easy. Let him go. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. You're a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Nope. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. It might lead us to the camp. Stay with it. I wonder if we could shoot that guy. Oh, he's I think he's dead. What do you see? He's picking up. Poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the raft. I did. Okay. Let's go. I 
think I see something. Uh huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Oh. There's uncle. My god. <clears throat> we gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on. Uh, Charles. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Behind you! <sighs> All right, kids! The surprise is on! It's on! Are you kidding? Okay. You're okay, old man. I look okay. Never did. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got him. Oh. Looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Okay. More of them. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding? Oh, man. Up on let's go, the let's go. To the right. Look after Uncle. You okay? Hold on to me. Seriously? Die, you... I got this. Dang, I'm trying not to die myself. Okay. Get me out of here. Where you move? You die already? Come on. Get him on your horse! Kidding. Oh. oh. Turn. Uh, real weird. We're out. 
Man, that's about as slow as you can turn. Right hard. Oh man. How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. That was sloppy. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. <clears throat> yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Does it look okay? No. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Ah, I can't, I can't hit my back. Oh. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. Then I'll really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. Even with lumbago. <clears throat> He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah. Yep. Exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. That's right. We're going to be safe here, John. Hmm? You... Your family, you all be safe. I hope so. <clears throat> I really do. If she ever comes back. Foreshadowing. <clears throat> there she is. What the hell? Oh, no sombrero. Darn. <laughs> you, you're. <sighs> I. He always did have that fine way with words. I can relate. All right, son. Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. Maybe. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. You wanted it. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so I reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke? Thanks. Thanks. I guess. Come on! How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and, uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? That's the life. Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Do like eating, though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Nope. Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I've... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At Come on, kid. With you. 
But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. Jack I'd can't like talk to... either. Pretty countryside. <clears throat> I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. But to me, it's... It's... It's life. I... I can't explain it. Okay. What are you gonna be when you're older? I wanna travel. See the world. That's a good idea. Then... Become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer, that's a... Are you laughing at me? Yes. No. Never. Just... Whatever you do, do it better than me and your mom. True. We had it. However we had it. We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. All right. And we are... Is this a river or what? Uh, I don't know what to use. We'll just go with that. Fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur mm. taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's... He's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him. <laughs> what do I you got think? one too. How you feel? <laughs> I don't. I feel. I don't know. Thanks, Dad. Feels good, doesn't it? I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey. My trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's going to show up here. Thank the Lord. Foreshadowing. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. Got another one. I'll go find the bluegill. Him. Yeah, let's keep it. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. Okay. Can I?
There. Okay. Come on! Rufus! 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 No! It's a snake! I see. He bit him! Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down too. Come here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Cut his leg off. Get the poison out! Dad! Rufus, no! Is it all out? Well, spit it out! <laughs> Don't swallow it! He's gonna die! He's gonna die! Jeez, kid, okay. chill out! We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die! Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. <coughs> Abigail, can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, yep. the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, Easy. Sometimes you just don't know how things are gonna turn out. But. But the dog... The dog's gonna be fine. It's okay, son. Bonding moment. Silver again. Five minutes, 20 seconds. I caught a fish, so I'm good. All right, um, and now we have, wait, hold on. Abigail is Sadie. Let's go do it. What are you doing, Uncle? I'm, I'm thinking. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's dreaming. Important, dear boy. Looks hard. Well, it is. It is. Now, now I gotta get back to it. I can't spend all my time talking to you fools. <sighs> One day, Uncle. One day. He's having a well-earned rest again, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's exhausting watching other folk work. Nice little random moment. <clears throat> All right. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So far. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Guess who? Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I... Saw We've been working. Well... <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're That's working right. for her to pay it off? Yep. Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. <laughs> Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's <laughs> head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Well, 
Writing silly stories. More foreshadowing. I'm sorry, Abigail. <clears throat> really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. More foreshadowing? It's legal work <laughs> that I can handle. There's a... Uh-oh. There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? <laughs> I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business, you know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. You know, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Let's go. You want to work? Let's do it. Get your horse and let's go. I'm way ahead of you. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey. All right. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was Arthur's. It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. <coughs> or asking her at least. Oh my! I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But. <laughs> It's Blame it on the ranch. Something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, John. Being married, it made me real happy. Hopefully no Skinner's up here. We're cutting off the main track up here. My Ooh, man's okay. in the post. I need to shake some of them down for a bag of money. What? So we're coming up on where Must he's be criminals. Been this moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Yep. Well, they might have. Elk. Up here. <laughs> Little campsite. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This. This looks. Looks like a bear. Something came through here. <sighs> and fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Yes. That way, I'd say. <clears throat> Great. Oh. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Oh. 
Okay. Yep. I think I got him. Follow me. As if it were that easy. Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. An old rundown cabin. Dead guy. My God. Crap. Ugh, well, I ain't pretty. Oh boy. That our fella? Maybe. But looks more like a local farmer to me. What's left of one? Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Here we go. Look out! <laughs> 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 it's a ten shot six shooter. There we go. I think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. <laughs> Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. I would never use a weapon to hit Thurwell. someone. Call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't All believe right. we didn't kill. Can I get my hat? Back. That bastard. Gave him something to remember us by at least. My sombrero. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Gotta Family make money. And all. Seeing all this. I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my sure you man, can. I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah. Fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. Okay, yeah. here we go. I spend my cash. Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally. We know how this if is gonna go. There, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. For doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection. Uh, shoot. Oh, you don't mess. I don't mess around. I was saying something. Oh yeah. Huh. You don't mess around, do you? 
No. Let's go. Them bastards was green. If yep. we didn't get him, someone else would have. I made it quick. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yeah. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Sure. Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? Nope. If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah? That's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think he might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. Okay. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Alrighty. Silver. Seven minutes, 15 seconds. Okay. Okay, let's go do it. No, you be quiet. Well, I'm having a moment of repose. Well, you should be working. Yep. I'll tell you what, woman. Was a damn sight more peaceful around here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston, Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually <laughs> been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. Love that bison hat. It's the Gettys boys. From Poghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom and Pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just... Over here. Then we can arrange. <laughs> this is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <clears throat> Send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. <laughs> sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been there you go. Since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we get to show for it. The ranch, yep. this life. It's so nice, John. Oh, it is. It'll only get nicer.
May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. There's Jack in the distance. <laughs> and now to Blackwater. Oops. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have yep. some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marsden. Oh, I ain't had a drink in well, a couple of days. I left those things behind me. No, I mean <laughs> good, wholesome fun, like uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. Sure. Well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? Sure. I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Shoebox full of 20s? Walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles False. man is fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat uncle. <laughs> don't get my hopes up. There you go. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay then. Portrait it is. Look out, mister. Look out. You'll never get there at this pace, John. Well, come on. Backseat driver. I'll just put us here. Let me help you down. <laughs> Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm going to head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You want to come with me or wait here? And after that, I'm we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. Easy now. Arthur and Mary. All right. Let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. <laughs> this is what you're getting, Abigail. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> this is me. Different this is funny. John Marston. Am I annoying you? No. White bison hunter. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Enlargements? Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably not. Nope. Well, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... <laughs> We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. This guy's a moron. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. I got a memory like what a goldfish. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls. <laughs> Paris by night. <laughs> We have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. Take, Bingo. Take a, take a look. Pick one. Very good. 
<laughs> John? How's this? Perfect! Now, give me a minute. <laughs> I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Goofy Abigail. You know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> no, 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 about that. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably Maybe. come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> what shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Now, do we have the Come on. photo? Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love yep. marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's, it's real fine doing normal things. Okay. Won't let me look. Okay. Trying to find the photo, but it's not going to happen. <clears throat> Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Something wrong? Nope. You're staring at me. Two tickets, please, to see Sketching for Sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. Like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. <sighs> Easy. Uh -huh. What are you doing with that arm? <laughs> I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. <laughs> Looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. Shh. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Mm -hmm. Really? Boom. Oh my. Is it over? I think so. Yep. Come on. Be seen. All right. <laughs> we better get home. Nope. Oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? Yep. In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. <laughs> You're a silly man, John Marston. Love this outfit. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. 
Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. It don't matter. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought it was John Marston, but now I suspect he's been replaced with an imposter. <sighs> All right. That's good. Ain't it pretty? What is it? <laughs> Let's just do it. What are you asking? Will you? Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean <laughs> proper in front of God. You serious? You cannot turn down the bison hat. I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy <laughs> if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never, I didn't know what mattered to me. It didn't, but now it does. <laughs> if you think this is dumb, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> the bison hat rocks. Okay, the sunrise. John Marston. There it is, a new future imagined. I had one thing to do. <laughs> okay. So. I think I'm going to leave it right there. We are down to the final mission. There is a lot left to do. But I will save that for the next one. So. I will see you in the next one when we will do a lot of the extra stuff and hope, hopefully finish. See you around.